Alrighty guys, it's been a minute since I talked about Deadpool and Wolverine because I have gone and seen it and I haven't talked about it. So, yeah, better late than ever, I guess. So, what I gotta say about it, definitely, definitely save the MCU. Literally, Deadpool is Marvel Jesus because after Endgame and No Way Home was really the pinnacle point of like I wasn't really interested in the MCU but watching this film just gave me more hope into watching the Marvel and MCU again of its entirety discography and all that good stuff my favorite moments it uh, in this film are basically what everybody's talking about in the internet like you know the bye 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 dance which was literally the best introduction to any film any marvel film that i have ever seen so far and i just love it and i'm trying to copy the dance right now because the song is just really catchy to listen and pop your head to the whole plot of the movie is really simple nothing really too complicated or anything but it does call back to certain references to like um the tv show of loki and with deadpool and himself with his journey and then with wolverine i did not think they will will be capable of bringing back hugh jackman's wolverine until you know watching this film spoilers here then he manages to go to different um alternate you alternate alternate alternative universes of wolverine we got to see henry cavill as wolverine and i don't think i can see anybody else now after seeing him tackle deadpool into another universe that he meets the worst version i guess of wolverine which was just him being really drunk because of an incident that he left his mutant home and they've been butchered and then he just started to kill people like a whole massacre and everything which is really sad and depressing and with deadpool's case with him he is trying to save his sacred timeline that that's been in decline because of logan's death in that timeline so that's really the whole plot from there and he just wants to go wants to go find you know a different wolverine to be the anchor beam of his sacred line timeline that could be you know fixed and everything which was really impressive at first but it really wasn't you know the solution to the problem so they both can send to the void and their whole journey is to get back from the void so deadpool can find a way to save his sacred timeline and everything and wolverine's just you know dealing with his grief and his loss with his x-men family and all that good stuff but yeah it does have some emotional moments between both of the characters and the fight scenes are just on par watching deadpool and wolverine fight like officially instead of the one from the wolverine movie is actually really refreshing and breathtaking so the first fight was just so fucking good and then the second car fight was just even more fucking more in depth and emotional from the conversation that they both have with each other and their dynamic are just so on par with each other it's exactly how i wanted it to be pictured live action between you know ryan reynolds and hugh jackman and man their chemistry is just so on point and it's so hilarious how they both banter at each other and the cameos and everything was just overwhelmed man we got chris evans back as the human torch and he got himself killed you guys know why if you guys watch the credits which is really hilarious you got blade coming back electra coming back x23 coming back and fucking Channing tatum that i didn't know that was going to be gamut or was supposed to be gamut man is back as fucking gamut and just like you know how long i've been waiting for this Ooh, I'm about to make a name out of myself here. <laughs> like, all those memes and everything are just so fucking funny, man. It's just, overall, this film has impacted the culture and, like, the general space in the internet with this movie. And, man, let me tell you, all those jokes and the fourth wall breaks and everything are just so fucking on par with the film. Kind of, I would uh, nominate this as one of, like, the best films so far that I've ever seen in 2020 four and again it has more impact than any other marvel movie besides probably just endgame and no way home and i feel like um this movie just outshines no way home just like a little bit in that aspect of the cameos and everything just tying in together and with x23 forgot about her um but yeah just a really nice enjoyable film from start to end 
and I gotta say, by far, with the last bit of the scene with Deadpool and Wolverine fighting the other Deadpools was just so iconic, especially when Wolverine puts on that mask and Madonna, like the prayer, just starts fucking playing on my bro. This is this is the best best MCU movie I've watched so far, man. We'll see about, about Captain America and the Brave New World because Red Hulk is there, so it's just like, hmm, interesting. But yeah, definitely Deadpool is Marvel Jesus. Saved the whole fucking universe of MCU, and I cannot wait to see more better Marvel films start coming out, and it just opens the door of opportunity because we got RDJ coming back as Doctor Doom, and we got Fantastic Four. I'm really interested to watching the Fantastic Four again because I did enjoy, you know, the first couple films that came out, but not like the 2015, 2016 reboot wasn't really it for me, but I cannot wait to see one more is to come and because of this film that had so much impact and to bringing like my old nostalgic factor back into me like getting more interested brings me back man so ryan reynolds who checked me on the whole team great job i have to give this film a good solid time to time i think it's a masterpiece in my opinion from beginning to end even though the plot wasn't really you know on par with any other plots but hey this is the film that got me into back to watching the mcu so that's really important for me. So anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment sections. If not, that's A-OK -okay with me. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sedegos239, and I hope you all have a wonderful morning, night, day, evening, whatever the occasion is. Take care, stay safe, and all that good jazz. But anyways, guys, later.